Hey guys, my name is Daniel, and I'm doing a video today about starting up making videos and what I'm going through, what I'm experiencing, what I'm feeling, and my thoughts around them. So this is kind of like a video about not wanting to do videos, interestingly enough. So I've had in my mind running for at least well, on and off again, like what, two or more years now, um, at least. Wanting to make YouTube videos, wanting to make social media videos, this and that and everything. And I did for a little bit. I did make uh, little shorts and little reels and stuff uh, for a prior um, hypnotherapy business that I was doing for a bit. And yeah, I just felt with those videos, yeah, they were educational, they were, they were great. And I was doing lives as well, which is good, uh, doing lives for two weeks and everything. And what I can say is that doing videos consistently, even for a short amount of time. So like I did um, the two week Facebook live challenge, that was incredibly helpful. That actually made a lot of changes for me in terms of uh, my ability to get in front of a camera, and to speak my mind and to speak my piece, basically. And to go just more unfiltered. And the thing is, is that with those with those videos, yeah, they were great. And people got a lot of value out of them and I actually felt really good doing them uh, during the time that I would force myself like just to do it for two weeks. So if you're thinking about starting videos, definitely do it um, at least for two weeks, just going on Facebook live, just going just raw unfiltered, just going just verbal vomit, just whatever you have, uh, whatever comes to mind, just say it basically. And what came to me when I was making little reels and stuff of, uh, you know, oh, this is how you can, you know, you know, do some like box breathing or something like that, uh, just to, to calm yourself down whenever things are tense or, you know, things like that, or just little, little tips and this and that. It just didn't sit right with me. It just didn't feel like fully like it was me. Like I was putting on almost like a front. And that kind of leads into my thoughts and feelings around starting up all these more of these YouTube videos here uh, that I'm doing. Where it's basically the ideas that I was coming that was coming up for me was leading up to this was, oh, I need to get everything just right. I need to get uh, figure out what's the best platform and I need to figure out what's my message and I need to figure out exactly who's the right audience and everything da, 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 da. and all, all the things of like, you know, oh, what, what, uh, you know, what I, I was thinking in, in, in small minded ways, you know, small dick kind of things where it was like, oh, fuck, you know, there's this is one guy on Instagram, he's doing this uh, type of thing and I can do a similar kind of thing. And, you know, he has like, you know, 120,000 followers or something like that. And, you know, I can get the same kind of thing if I just do that, if I do it better, if I do that, 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 that. And it was just very, um, just so focused on just the tiny little, you know, I don't know, manual technical shit of like all the processes and this and that. It's just... No one fucking cares. No one fucking cares about that shit. Like all the, I mean, like in terms of, yes, have good video quality, have good production, you know, have good, you know, audio quality and everything like that. But what I was going through at that time, and this was literally just, you know, yesterday, um, even last night, where I was just thinking to myself, you know, what's, what's the thing that I need to do to, to, you know, put myself out there and break into the market, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, I had a conversation with my brother. And he was just like, you know, dude, just like, just be you. And it just made made me remember, like, I have to, you know, 
watch, you know, some older, some older videos that inspired me of like, you know, other YouTube creators that wanted, that made me, you know, want to become a YouTuber or to produce videos, to put a message out there. Right. And some of these guys that they, they don't do any fancy video editing. They don't do any of this, you know, uh, fancy camera angles or any, or any of this shit. It's literally just them and a camera and them just speaking out their mind being, you know, just, just raw. Like that's the most important thing is that's, that's the value that I got from these guys. For example, like I don't know, Hamza or Ronin man, or, you know, like Hamza has like 2 million subscribers and, um, you know, he has a whole bunch of videos where, um, he has like two accounts. One is his, you know, main account where it has a bunch of like highly edited videos and this and that. Um, and then he has his like unfiltered account where it was like, you know, hour or two hour long, uh, long form video where he was just genuinely expressing himself. And that's the kind of stuff that I love the most. And that's the, really the only kind of stuff that I actually paid attention to. And same with uh, like another channel like Ronin Man, where he did, you know, hour two hour long videos. And it was literally just him walking around with a camera, you know, not even showing his face, but like just pointing out to the, to the world that he's walking through. And just being genuine and talking about his experiences. And that got me thinking of like, well, you know what, if I was to, I should just probably just drop all the, the, the garbage of like trying to get all the technical bullshit right and just be me, just do it. Just say, fuck it. I'm just going to put myself out raw and just put myself out there and just, just talk, just talk. Because the thing that I noticed with in rewatching some of those videos last night is the reason why I loved watching a lot of their videos um, and, and, and other guys too out there that, um, you know, produce long form videos that produced videos that was truly like heartfelt is that for me, I felt the pull to want to watch their like hour to hour long videos multiple times and extract a different lesson out of it every time I watched it. So I would watch a video, you know, once and I would get some sort of learning out of it. And then six, 12 months later or whatever, I'll watch it again and I'll get completely new learnings out of it after I've gone through a whole bunch of different experiences. And, and that's the thing is that I've done it for multiples of their videos. And that's the, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of them, right? And for, you know, say like a guy like Ronan Man, he only has like 17,000 subscribers or whatever, you know, like I've come to realize that the number doesn't actually, doesn't fucking matter at all. You can have like 500 people, or whatever. But so long as that they're actually, you know, engaged with you, if they're actually watching you, like he gets, his videos consistently gets like a good 2,000 views every single time, right? I mean, that shows that, you know, he has a very loyal and loving, um, you know, audience. And they're engaging in comments and this and that and everything. It's it's not about the fucking numbers, which is the mindset that I was caught up in of like, oh, you know, what little tactic and trick and this and that, you know, how can I position myself that, 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 to get the most, to get that fucking number up? It doesn't matter. And that was basically what was holding me back. Literally just talk in front of a camera and let the people that like me, that enjoy me, that get value out of the things that I have to say, let them approach and see my content. And then, you know, I, I want them to be part of my audience that listens to me, right? Because there's no point to have like a big number of, of a giant subscriber count or anything like that. If there's no viewer retention, no, you know, nobody actually impacted and watching and going like, wow, I want to hear what he has to say. Cause like, that's, that's where it's actually important. If, if you're gonna, you know, if I'm gonna make videos, I've come to realize now that I just want, I just want to express my piece and I want people that resonate with it 
to hear it. And if it affects their life in a positive way, like I'm, I'm feeling absolutely blessed. So if you are trying to start up, you know, a YouTube channel or trying to post more regularly on, on social media, honestly, like for me, I'm just saying, fuck it. And you should, you should do it too. Just be absolutely as genuine as possible and just, you know, talk about all your deep, dark shit and just be human because that's how you connect to people. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to do like a 60 day attack. I'm going to do a 60 days, you know, just just every day, just posting something. And it could be, you know, absolute word vomit. It can be brilliant, insightful, you know, material. Doesn't matter. Just so long as I get the reps in and just so long as that, you know, even if it doesn't get any views, it doesn't bother me. Because I know that for me, it's about me just getting the practice in. And eventually people will come across it. And the more genuine, and I know that the more genuine I am, the more that, you know, people will want to watch and, and, and stay on the channel to watch, right? to stay you know, glued to the, to, to the content because it, it's not, it's not necessarily the content, but it's, it's more, you know, I'm, I'm making a personal connection to them. And cause I know this because that's how I do it in real life. I'm just like, I'm just real. I'm just genuine. I'm not trying to put up a, a front. Well, I, I guess, you know, at least I try, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm a human. I'm not perfect. You know, I, 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 put, I do put up fronts and put up faces and put up masks and stuff like that. I mean, like that, that's part of what I do. And like, I'm human. But the thing is, like, if to make the most genuine relationships, it's, you have to be genuine. I have to be genuine. So, yeah, even if this video gets like one view, great, fantastic. Like that's, that's the most important thing is that you're being genuine. And eventually, and genuine and consistent. Because, you know, with the reps, like going to the gym, even though you're not perfect now, even though you can't lift the 200 kilo deadlift, you can start with the five kilo weights and just keep repping until you can get to that 200 kilos. Right? Same as these videos. I might not be expressing myself in the most eloquent way with uh, expert elocution. But that gets better over time. So if if you're feeling that, you know, if you don't want to start making videos because oh, there's all these tiny little things here or there, I'm like, oh, I'm not perfect with the way I speak, or I've got an accent, or I've got this, I've got that, and I need to work this out first, and I need to work that, just... What I'm doing is just going, Daniel, shut the fuck up and just do it. It's going to be the most easiest and effective way. And honestly, like long term, going to be the best way. Because from reflecting on how I re relate to, you know, other people that I genuinely like on social media, on, on YouTube, it's like those re truly genuine characters. Like even though they make two hour long videos, it doesn't matter to me because like I like hearing what they have to say. I like to hear how they, re you know, how I can relate to their story, right? And reflect on myself of like the lessons that I can learn. Like if you can be completely genuine and open about yourself, which can be a challenge, sure. But that allows you to be you. You don't have to put on a front. You don't have to put on a mask because that gets tiring. And over time, you know, people that get caught up into, you know, making videos and stuff that, uh, you know, like all, some of these influences, like they, they can't be themselves anymore. They've cornered their entire personality, their online persona into this 
into this box of like what people expect to see out of them. And that just gets tiring. They have no space to be real. They have to be this, you know, what other people want them to be, what other people see them as. So right from the get-go, if you're thinking about, you know, oh, I have to present myself in this way, I have to present myself in that way, fuck it. Just be you. Because long-term, it's going to pay off. Because long-term, you're not going to be looking back and going, oh, shit, I can't talk about this and this and this and this and this, which I really love, because I cornered myself into this little corner here. And I don't even identify with that anymore. So being genuine right off the bat will give you the freedom later, will give me the freedom later to be able to be flexible with the things I talk about, the things I enjoy, the things I love, the things I want to, you know, go into. Because, you know, there's, cause there's a lot to within each and every single person and within me as well of like, I like, you know, dancing and shooting and, uh, freaking like all sorts of other things, you know, like, um, and you know, spirituality and psychology and, you know, hypnosis and stuff like that. All, all, all sorts of different random topics, but it's, but it's me. And I can also talk about, you know, what's actually on my mind. I don't have to think about, you know, oh, geez, you know, what am I going to talk about today? No, just turn a fucking camera on and just talk. Just be me. Because that's how you develop an actual relationship with people in real life. Right? That's how you do it online as well. That's what I've found in the people that I love the most online. The people that... I have watched like religiously is because they're the most genuine and the most, you know, um, they're the most consistent and they're the most just real. So if you're thinking about starting videos, just be real, be true to yourself right from the bat. Cause if people are loving you for who you are as a person already, which I'm sure they are, Just bring that out, bring that out to the, to the wider world and people will love you for it. And yes, at the start, it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a grind. Sure. One view, two views, zero views. It doesn't fucking matter. Just post it and get the reps because eventually at some point when people see you enough, just like if you go out or, you know, meet people, meet a person regularly. Eventually they'll come to know you and come to like you and then want to hear more from you. And it, it may be scary. You're going to have to put yourself out and, you know, do something that you haven't done before. Sure. But this is how you get so much growth in your life. And I'm feeling the call to do this as well, because I'm feeling that this is the next step of my growth is that I have a lot to say. I've been kind of keeping it to myself. And it serves, doesn't serve humanity or anybody else if uh, I don't share. And likewise for you, if you're, if you're feeling the pull towards making some videos or making or putting your opinions or putting your perspective, whatever it is out there, do it, do it, do it and be real, be as real as you possibly can. And just have in, in your head, just know, just know that all the little technical shit like that I was focused on as well, you can figure that out later. Doesn't fucking matter. Figure that shit out later and just focus on being real and you because that is like the core. That is the meat and potatoes of what people come to see you for. 
right? Because some people might have all the fancy editing and everything like that, but the actual, I guess, you know, quality of their audience, they, they don't come back and listen again and again and again and have like that real impact in their life. So, you know, if you just want to make videos just for the sake of videos that people just watch and go, haha, I mean, perfect, fine, great. But if you want to make something that, if you have the idea in your head of like, oh, I want to make something that's like more, that wants to be impactful into people's lives, that want to change people's lives, you have to be open and genuine. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, I think that's about all of the things that I wanted to say on this topic. So what I'm going to be doing going forward is I'm going to be doing a 60 day every day, just posting a video online somewhere, probably to YouTube and then uploading it and then sharing it across social media. Why not? And I'll be talking about whatever comes up for me, talk about my journey, talk about who am I, who I am as a person, the things that I face, the challenges I, you know, I have things that I feel and fear all of that. And, uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, be me and see where it goes. All right. Well, thank you for watching this. And if you are thinking about doing, doing the thing, please do the thing. The world needs to hear your voice and go out there and make a change. All right. This is Daniel. Have a good one.